All right, back from the holidays. And I've personally had a little bit of a troublesome holidays with a little bit of burglary in my house. Not really a great way to get back from the Thanksgivings. Whoa, that's bright, but all in all, not bad Thanksgiving. Lots of nice family dinners. And I'm missing a door. A little inconvenient, but I mean, it'll work out, it'll work out. A bunch of barrier is kind of weak normally on turn one, but today it is excellent. Double snow chaser turn one. This is how the deck works, and I do have some Arcanist synergy, so that's pretty neato. I'm not sure if I'll play Prismatic Illusionist and the Gravity Well next turn. I guess we'll see. If I can use the Prismatic Illusionist and a Hailstone Prison, that'd be pretty insane, and then I have the Bloodmore spell to follow up with for more Prismatic Madness. I'll just hold on to the spells for the Prismatic Illusionist, <laughs> even though this is a snow chaser victory. <laughs> Double Snow Chaser turn 1. It's quite insane how strong turn 1 Snow Chasers are. Look at him. It looks like he's not going to be able to get rid of them. The only thing is that they're pretty good when you're ahead, not really great when you're behind. But they're so good when you're ahead that they win you the game. I guess from behind, they work well with the Glacial Mentals. But I've been getting pretty insane draws, to be honest. Gorehorn, okay, are we going to backstab a Snow Chaser? Oh, that's good. That means he's getting rid of one of the Snow Chasers. I can't keep him from running around, so I think I'll get rid of the gravity well, hope I can get something bigger and badder. Yeah, just go for a simple smackdown. He used too many resources to get rid of one snow chaser. As long as he doesn't have a board clear, that's super insane, right? Well, if he puts down his 4 on smash, I'm going to have to find some way to set myself up to take it out as well. Actually, I do want that card. <laughs> It's actually a pretty good use of mana. <laughs> I guess so. Give myself a illusionist. I guess I will want to split him up so I don't want him to get good movement as well as removal of a snow chaser. Oh man, I love Prismatic Illusionist. Even though they're a little bit weak, it's still pretty neat. They do quite a feat. Since they have nice deeds. I don't know. <laughs> Well, that was a pretty insane spell jammer. Do I want to get rid of it? Kind of. Do I need to? No. This is giving me extra cards. Although, maybe cards are more important for him than... Probably want to save the Prismatic Illusionist for another turn. Let's just hope that he drops something big. A lot? <laughs> That's a lot of spell jammers. Okay. I guess he does have blinks, so he can actually put the spell jammers back in business if he wants. Yeah, it's kind of awkward, actually. <laughs> I guess the best solution is for me to play a spell jammer and a snow chaser. Although I will lose a snow chaser. I could use a prismatic illusionist, although next turn will be pretty insane, right? I'm just going to move these guys up. I guess it'll it be better if I can get an Albi Sage. And this. Uh, I guess that's kind of awkward. Oh, I didn't have enough time to play out the gravity well. That's going to hurt. Well, I can use the connector with the gravity well next turn. Oh, that's pretty insane. Well, I think I can get a good clear no matter what. Ish. Actually, Hellstorm Prison kills stuff now. <laughs> that's pretty insane. This is pretty neat. <laughs> Oh man, but losing that gravity world last turn was pretty bad. Oh, well, I guess it's not making too big of a difference. It's a difference of a... Uh, well, actually it's a huge difference. I don't know, I don't know. This feels okay, I guess. I'll get rid of one of the gravity wells. They're not too good right now without any minions. I'll be sage. I've been waiting for you, my man. Jeez. Keeping me waiting. Now I think about it, I definitely should include Hearth Sisters. I mean... Come on. If people move around the Albi Sage, that'll be kind of too bad. Although I can't, I don't really know what I'd replace with the Hearth Sister because I do want spells instead. I guess it's not too big of a deal. Kaido Assassin, okay. Fortunately, oh that's weird. 
So that's three hits. That doesn't really guarantee any kills. Oh, I want to use the outbase be sage so badly though. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Check it out. Check out what's going on here. Well, I should have used a desperate call actually first. <laughs> Well, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, well, I guess I can put down this Drago Lord, but not being able to play anything is pretty bad. That means definitely I'll be Sage is a lot better. <laughs> Should I play Gravity Well? No, I want to hold on to it. Hopefully, he can't get rid of both Glacier Elementals. Although, I don't really have any combos with them either. I guess I'll play my entire hand next turn with the I'll be Sage and the Gravity Wells. Ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> oh, come on. That's some major damage, that's for sure. Why does he have Chaos Elemental? I guess he's replacing some of his 3 drops. I guess I need to keep a Drago Lord just in case I don't get any cards. Well, I guess the difference doesn't matter. Maybe I want the extra attack, actually. I wonder why he's not hitting into the dude. Okay. Oh, that I'll be Sage. I'm Wall Vandor now. I guess a board clear would be pretty insane here. I don't have enough cards. It's kind of a fear I guess I had. I can play a Voice of Wind and a Dragger Lord. At this point, I'm getting a lot of big dudes. Actually, if he uses... Yeah, actually, I like this position, actually. Although, it's... it is funny, though. <laughs> I'm filling up this board pretty insanely. Okay, as long as he doesn't have two Ghost Lightnings, which hopefully he doesn't run in this deck at all, then I'm good. I'm settled. He probably has a way to get rid of this dude, though. Although, if he does remove this, that'll be good for me because I do have bigger dudes following up. Somehow, I have five Snow Chasers. Okay, fight that owl beast sage! It's not gonna have to take a bit of time for him to get to me, right? <laughs> oh, that's nasty though. I guess the extra health did- well no, the extra health did not matter. It's actually very close, very close one. I guess I can just attack into these dudes. I guess once I get Razor back, out, this is a good situation for me. <laughs> Otherwise, this is actually super awkward. Oh no, he's coming after me! He's coming after me! Oh no! No! I win. So, that's good. It's pretty nasty though. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh man! Oh, stop it! It's too much damage. Oh man, I got lucky there. A little bit too much of misplays. It's interesting that he didn't take out those dudes, but I guess I could have been Wall Wallbender actually. If I had the eight damage spell, the like eight mana spell, he would have been in a lot of trouble actually. I guess to be honest, it's a little bit more of a actually a Vesper deck, but I do include the Arcanist inclusions just because they're actually a nice win condition for Vespers, because Vespers typically don't really have their own win condition, but with Arcanists, you get infinite value. Oh yeah, Gravity Well, this is, that is really good. I can actually just play a turn one Crystal Cloaker. I'll hold on to the rest of the cards since these are actually pretty good early game cards. Alright, my man, Crystal Cloaker to the rescue. Whew, okay, this time I got this. I'm not going to fall into the trap of the Warbird. <laughs> that was a pretty major deal losing that last game. But I've got the advantage with the Crystal Coker, and I'm going to make sure that I have enough mana to play out the cards I want to play. Uh, Glacier Elemental will be a problem if he plays that turn one. Hopefully he doesn't have that. <laughs> Otherwise, I, I could get a Glacier Elemental with a Vesper Call. Although I wouldn't be able to play it with the Bone Barrier at least. 
Hopefully something small. Please be a... Oh, Hearth Sister. Okay. I'll use a maw on that then. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't attack there. I guess he... I don't know, that's kind of weird. I'll just hold on to these cards, to be honest. Alright, Vesper Claw, see what I can grab here. I like that. I like that a lot. The Heart Sisters going to have to spend some time getting through anyway. So, you know, might as well, you know, put on some damage here. <laughs> oh, that has a lot of potential. That has a lot of potential. Yeah, hold on to Bone Chibera is just for the Glacier Elemental, which I just happen to pick up right now. Fashionably on time. So yeah, this this game is a little tough for him to survive. A three mana four four is not bad, especially well three mana five five because well four mana five five it's not bad with the immediate effect of one one. You know that's pretty almost meta. If it was Hearthstone, I guess. Oh, it's a shot. Okay, I'd say that was not very good use of that. I can clear a board off with the Glacier Elemental. That is excellent, and then I do have a follow up with the Voice of the Wind if I. Want to, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is settled. And these are pretty obvious plays. I just managed to get ahead on board, and then this is the reward. I mean, if you don't can't deal with the board, then you are in trouble. And I did get a three mana tempo advantage because I managed to get all three mana springs. Having that much of an advantage is really swingy. Unfortunately, in this game, yeah. If you get that kind of board lead, you are going to have a sweet, easy time. Especially if you have Snow Chasers to refill your hand and mana. Or use your mana efficiently, <laughs> so to speak. Night Watcher, okay. I don't have any Rush minions though, so it's not a big deal. I guess I'll just drop a Voice of the Wind line. Hopefully he can't remove it. Force Field is a little bit of a problem. <laughs> First Mag Illusion. It's a little bit too late. I actually need a spell jammer. I need more cards now. Well, it depends on whether he's able to remove either of these cards. Glacier Elemental is kind of a bluff. It's really this card that is very important. Pretty good card. I should be able to remove anything that comes out, to be honest. I'll just remove anything that's not important. Okay, that's, that's too bad, I guess. Well, let's just get rid of that Magua <laughs> with a couple of Maws here. Oh, this is a huge advantage already. It allows a 1 mana 4-4, four, four, right? Oh, that was a good connect surge. I like it. I like it. That's excellent, that's excellent, that's excellent. Oh, I didn't move this guy forward. I will attack aggressively though, because I will lose to a Frostburn. Oh, I'll get rid of, uh, get rid of a Prismatic Illusion, that's not really good without combos. If anything, a Frostburn is a little bit too late now. That's set. I play eight games, wow. Pretty insane quest. But, that's it. Alright, even though this deck plays on mostly like a Vesper Vanar, it is still pretty cool how I can the Irkness just give you a really nice sweet win condition with infinite value. And I do like Hailstorm Prison actually, I usually didn't like the card because it seemed like it was too fair, I don't know, it just feels super strong right now. Just like slowing down your opponent actually is really helpful, especially since you have a Glacier Elemental to clean up later, and you have infinite value with your Arcanist minions, so, pretty neato. See ya. <laughs>